Now we can go straight back to Emily, but since we're outside anyway, I was thinking... Remember back in the Panopticon in Dylan's cell? There was a level 6 access thing. Since I remember it, should I go look at it right now? We are on... Level 4? Oh my god, the fridge is still here, but uh, it's okay now, right? I think it's okay. It's not exactly super dangerous anymore. So theoretically, can I go around touching every single item and then the whole place would just be okay again? <laughs> Maybe? Hello, friends! Was that it? Oh, that can't be it. There was something there. Thank you. Yeah, there's people that are angry at me, but if they can catch me, then feel free to come over. Otherwise, I don't really want to dedicate time to uh, trying to kill you guys. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ain't nobody sending me a rocket over here. Have we been here before? I guess not, because otherwise I would have gotten that thing already. Another section of... Objects that are not there. Pram supplement. Oops. Pram is the one that had smoke coming out of it all the time. Yeah, the one that killed somebody with a smoke. Interview with M mm, conducted with the aid of a French translator on November 17, 2009, in a retirement home in M, mm, France. Where were you on August 2nd, 1979, Mr. Beaulieu? <laughs> it freaking said it right here, even though they censored it! What the hell? RB, translated from French. So specific a date! Ha ha ha. As if I could ever forget. I was called to a fire at the Rue mm. What did you see? Smoke! Why does a new pope rising up from the windows of a small shop? I sent my men in. I was fire chief back then. What happened next? We pulled the shop owner out. He was already dead. Smoke in his lungs. We found the source afterwards. A baby's walker. Poured water into it, but that only encouraged the smoke. We pulled the carriage outside. Smoke kept shooting out. A crowd gathered. People said it was a miracle, but I disagreed. It seemed to me like more of an omen. We brought the strange thing back to the fire hall. Some Americans, like yourself, came later and took it away. Uh, this sounds like somebody we got a silence. He saw the Americans. We can't have people knowing that. I think the pram is still around here somewhere, right? But not in this specific cell? Because I do remember seeing it. What's this? Ah, now it's linked to the other side. Wonderful. Did we end up going to the very end of this one already? Or can we link this one? To the other side? Seems like it's got to be done from the other other side. Okay. Kind of concerning that all the objects on this side seem to be gone. Cool. And now we're back to the control point. Alright, I see. Does that mean that theoretically we can go even further around here? Guys! We already went over this! Please. There's the elevator. And on this side was the... Yeah, that was where we were before. Could we open it? No. Oh, hey. You know how they censored one of the floor names? Did we ever figure out what that was officially? All dead. Thank you. 
If we want to go back to Dylan's cell. It would be all the way up here. P6 cell. Seriously, how long was he in here for? There was something there? Feels like there's a lot of random things around here. And it's hard to tell if we've looked at it or not because the layout is entirely the same throughout the entire floor. Okay, there's a section here, but there's literally nothing. Hey, I do get the impression there's something here though, even though we just came from that side. Because that seems to be something, right? By the way, there's really tense music right now because someone's chasing me, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> Wanna try looking here? Oh! Woo! Hey! What do you want from me? Either get out of here or just disappear. Thank you. Hey, we found a hidden location. Wow, actually, this is a gigantic hidden location. <gasps> I used to know where fiction ends and reality begins. Here, they're all the same. Oh my god. It's a hideous trap, my every thought made real. Fear, desire. How can I ever know for sure I've escaped and not just lost in my own fantasy of it? That thought alone can drive you insane. <gasps> that piece of paper must have been one that Alan Wake wrote on. Typewritten page procedures. A standard letter-sized typewritten page with minor water damage. The page is full of text. But apart from the top seven lines, all the rest has been violently scratched out. Only a few individual words and phrases can be made out. The page emits a dim glow in the dark. When the text is read, there is a feeling of dislocation, as if witnessing the page being written as you read it, and as if reality around you was being mm to match the words on the page. This feeling is made stronger if the text is mm. That's just like how we just saw that vision, right? Almost like we were there when it was written. Acquired not too long ago, August 27th. What? This year? Forensic and linguistic analysis confirmed that the text has been written by Alan Wake in the same typewriter as the earlier materials discovered in Bright Falls in 2010. Yeah, actually, what the heck? The Bright Falls thing was 2010, and they only discovered it in August? Hold on, isn't August 27th the release date of Control? I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe it's a reference to that. It's a thermos! It's the thermos from Alan Wake! Oh, this whole Panopticon place had so many Alan Wake references. So many that I feel like at this point, you can't just say it's just a reference. I saw a list of the DLCs they were planning for Control, and one of them seemed exactly like a... Alan Wake DLC. So it'll be interesting to see what that includes when that's actually released. Back here for the third time. <laughs> Is there basically nothing in here besides this thing? That's so depressing! I came this whole way and... There's really nothing in here. Damn though, Dylan did this. He threw a rock in the freaking office. Ugh. Let's get back to Emily then. And then, um, there's still a lot of things we haven't done yet. The anchor, and then maybe we want to go speak with Ati too. Uh, actually, before we get back to Emily, why don't we go speak with Ati? I'm sure he's got some new stuff for me, right? What the hell? Oh my gosh! Whoa! Cho! Who is Cho? 
I'm here to find out. I should find the others. I was walking back to Auntie and I heard people screaming here. That's right. Did we just have to kill them or... I thought he wanted me to do something more specific than that. Just the feet. What about Langston stuff? Like, I don't know... Is it worthwhile doing all these at all? Because there's actually a lot of like... Lists here. If the reward is interesting, I'll do all of it, but if it's not, then I might be tempted to just skip out on it. Anyway, Auntie, come back to find you. Uh, have you really been cleaning this place up? Seems wetter than usual. Whoa, you've got so much for me! What a mess, even more mold. More of it. This thing is completely living from the mitten. Perkele. Saatana. Helvetin helvet. Oma tulossa ja tällaista paskaa. NSC coolant pumps again? They are very good listeners. You can tell them anything. Or you can sing to them. They like that. Talk to the plants. More mold! You need to scrap that clean or there goes my reputation and honor. And then the good won't swing. Oh my gosh, Ati, you've got so much for me. There's so many side things here. I don't know if any of this is worth doing at all. Although I do like the idea of getting rid of the mold. Eradicate the mold in the containment sector. Oh, in the medical wing. Yeah, we know where that is. This one's back in the coolant pumps again, so... I guess we should head over there. Multimedia. Dylan Faden? Dylan's a lost cause. We haven't seen this before. I know, I struggled to see this, but we've contained him now. I wish I had sided with Marshall. Back when it's just one person, so many dead. I thought his youth was an asset. I'd... Just too much too soon. How many people has Dylan killed? Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. Oh, we've seen this part. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I don't know what. No, he wants someone to know about this. He's not trying to like run away with a slide projector or anything. Oh, I hate how they keep doing this. I wish they would just show me the whole thing, but every single time I gotta be so diligent in remembering to check out the long version of the videos and whatnot. It's kind of annoying. This one was actually important though because I didn't know he was doing this because of Dylan. It sounds a lot like he was moving the slide projector because of Dylan directly, which I definitely didn't know before. That obviously seems like some kind of mold thing. Mold's gotten in here too? All right, let's get cleaning, she said, cocking her gun. Yeah, this is the, the mold, the fungus kind of mold. But previously, the thing that we took away was something that looked like a pimple. So it's a tad different. Hey, we've never been up here before, have we? 
Not sure if there is actually anything worth looking at, though. It's really all just mold. Now, how do I get rid of you? I gotta find the source. Oh, there's a radio right there. This is locked. Okay. How do I get rid of the mold? Oh, by killing those guys? Where are you, buddy? Stop making scary noises, please. Are you at that actual pump location again, or...? Where'd it go? What? It just kind of disappeared. Okay. Did you want me to come back here specifically? I don't think so. This time, this part is clear. But if we want to eradicate the mold... <laughs> oh, that was one of the people. I see. No, but the mold. How exactly do you want me to eradicate the mold? Oh, I'm just supposed to shoot the bombs. Is that it? I mean, I still don't know where the rest of the bumps are, but <laughs> it's a start. Oh, there's another piece. They're so hard to find though, because how the heck are you supposed to see all of this? Not today, guys. I'm really not feeling this. See, there's another piece over there. Please, disappear. Thank you. The things that we're supposed to shoot at are like slightly different in color. And I think that's the only way you're supposed to be able to tell, which is kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Oh. See there. But it's so hard to notice because it's all green. God. It's so annoying. Die already. Lost so much health because of that guy. But now I'm on my mission of looking for little green spots again. Oh. Oh, finally, that was the last one. Ah, this quest was kind of difficult because everything looked really, really dang similar, and the spot's so small, but the place is so big. Ah, whatever. At least we're done it now. Let's get back to Emily then. I took care of the Tomasi problem. Sorry, I forget he was a coworker. Don't apologize. That wasn't the real Tomasi. He died when the hiss got him. You're right. I just didn't want to be insensitive. Sentimentality is a weakness in situations like these, Jesse. That's Bureau 101. I don't think Emily's in danger of being called sentimental. The situation's kind of like how she treated Dylan when she's talking to me, too. And maybe in a way, she's telling us that we shouldn't be sentimental in talking about that. I should get going. Don't let me hold you up. All right, well, thank you very much. Tomasi down. Yeah, I mean, for me, he was a formidable enemy, but he was supposedly one of us, even though I never got to know him. Now I got six ability points. Wow. Melee, shield, seize, levitate. Of all these ones right now, I think levitate might be the best for me. It's just one that I use the most. But maybe I don't use these ones because I don't upgrade them, and they don't get better. That's the problem. From how the path for melee is completely straight, I'm guessing we don't actually get any new abilities. It's just that the percentage for the damage keeps going up. But for shield, 
there is a bit of a branching off here, so a special ability. Seize also branches off a little bit here and towards the end. Levitate though, Levitate also doesn't branch off. If we want to see new things happening, maybe we have to head off to these branch off points. So let's increase C's here. And this one is 10. Mm, I kind of just want to see what this is. C's an additional enemy. Ah, oh, that's not that great. Well, we'll work with it. Now we can go back to the main mission already, but... Oh, we have one extra weapon mod. We should probably freaking dismantle that or something. But, um, hmm... We have so many side missions that I kind of just want to um, do some of it to get it out of the way, because I don't really like having a whole bunch of them fill up the screen here. Investigate the safe room. Yes, the anchor! I still haven't gone back to the anchor! Slide projector, that's the main quest. Langston's runaways. Um, I don't know where these are at all. I think we'll know if we see it, but right now, we haven't come across any of it. Japanese paper lantern, traffic light, hand chair. What's a hand chair? Moving letters? And then... The six pouches worn by Arisha's old squad mates. These ones are also just ones that we come across if we walk around the place. As with the mold hosts, these ones are probably easier to find because we have some idea of where they are. Talk to the plants is in research. I think we can do this once we go look for the slide projector, which is in dimensional research. Was that the hidden sector that we didn't know about before? It's part of research though. <laughs> Clearing the mold? Not sure about this one to be honest. Medical wing? I think I know exactly where this is. Eh. How about we... Let's eradicate the mold hosts and then I'm gonna go do the anchor one. Cause that one has been there for a long long time. And I really want to get rid of some of these ones. More media? Debrief for mirror excursions. No, no, no. This one we definitely heard already. America Overnight. You and your special powers. I wish we could skip, but we can't. This is so creepy. I don't. Lord. Yeah, we've seen this one. Okay. <laughs> Whatever happened to those kids anyway? Not the kids in the puppet show, but the kids that they show the puppet show to? Is it really just Dylan? Because right now, I don't think we've ever gotten complete confirmation on that point yet. If I want to look for the mold hosts, they would be back in... Oh, it's research! Oh, frick, but that's where the main quest is. Okay, you know what? Change of plans. I'm gonna do that once I get back to the main mission too then, because that is also part of the research sector. Okay, well, in that case... These two are all research. This one? <laughs> ah, might as well get it over with then. Containment sector, medical wing. That place is more contained, so I think it's not gonna be as bad. Trying to figure out where the mold sources are. Yes, medical wing. Panopticon entrance. Would be the closest, or maybe security? Here should be fine. The medical wing? We didn't come in here before. Because it's mold infested. But as it turns out, there's not really anything here besides this stuff. Oh, I forgot to dismantle my stuff earlier. Give me a second here. Alrighty. This is it. This is not where we have to eradicate the mold. That part is elsewhere? But the medical wing is pretty much complete here. Oh, but we never went in this place.
Mark Gibson, male, age 28, yeah. returned from the astral plane approximately 13 minutes ago. This was his 21st dive. Patient is experiencing migraine-like pain, intense pressure behind the eyes, and partial blindness. He has no recollection of his time in the astral plane and appears severely disoriented. Preliminary examination revealed no immediate cause, so we will be sending patient for x-rays and... What the fuck is that thing? <gasps> Gotta burst right out of him. Call Black! Get Marshall! It's gotta be the mold problem. That has to have been on purpose, right? It's completely stopped moving now. But when this thing was on, it was shaking the whole time. What the heck? Is there really not too much else here besides being a reception desk? There used to be a radio in here, but we dragged it outside. Oh, it's here now, but we can't play it anymore? I don't think we could ever play it, actually. Oh, okay, so now we've opened it up so we can just enter it through here. The mold they want me to eradicate might be here because... The mold's gotten in here too? Alright. Let's get cleaning, she said, cocking her gun. Oh, I think Ati put a thing in here for everywhere that we have to clean. Oh! Hold up. Where is the cluster? Oh, frick! I don't know where the cluster is, but things are moving. Is there more? No, there's still more around here. What is that? Oh, that's the usual... stuff that kind of messes up... What? <gasps> what the hell? Is that? Oh my god. What? Oh! We have something very big to eradicate here, and I gotta figure out how to... Get rid of all the little spots here, I think. Is there more beyond this point? No, that's actually just blockage. Is that good enough? Oh! Whoa, it's still... A statue? Easy peasy. Oh, that's the hand chair. Oh, wow. That was really quite something else. That's what they meant. It's a chair shaped like a hand. I thought that was leaking from another dimension or something. Like somebody reaching out with a hand. Item must be kept in isolation, removed from other unsecured objects. Under no circumstances is the item to be sat in. <laughs> a plastic seat shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. The hand's palm forms a seat with the fingers acting as a chair's back. The item affects gravitational forces, attracting and repelling objects near itself with a force of mm. Its fingers have also been observed to change position, though too quickly to be witnessed or filmed. The item may be changing forms rather than moving. The item only displays these effects during full moons. It's a full moon right now. Sample analysis confirms that it contains human genetic material? Oh my god. Found in a warehouse at M. Albany. A team of ranger trainees, accompanied by an experienced field agent, were dispatched to investigate local rumors when they encountered the item. They successfully retrieved the item. Oh. Wow. Okay, I like that. They have multiple side quests converging in the same locations here. 
So we don't have to go too crazy in trying to, you know, find all this mold stuff and whatever. But now we have to be... Oh, what the hell is going on there? The light's so bright. Wait, there was something there just now, right? A little dot? Yeah, what's going on there? Is that part of the fire break, or...? Yeah, I think it might be. We have to look for this stuff. Not the most fun thing to be doing. But the place is small. So theoretically, we should be finding them... ...pretty dang easy. Judging by the bar, we're missing... ...maybe three more? Now this is probably leaving the area. This place is dang small, though. They really should be... ...not too hard to find. Why can't we turn that off? Oh, it's probably not turn-offable. What? What? Oh! <gasps> I didn't know you could break the wall! What? I mean, not that there was too much in here, but... Cool, I guess. Was the hint supposed to be the little dot that we could see from time to time? <laughs> Such a random little spot. <laughs> hmm. How do I know which walls are breakable or not? Because now I'm gonna be paranoid, thinking, Oh, am I missing some breakable wall somewhere? Ugh. <laughs> uh that. The mold kind of makes the place look cold. <laughs> I don't think it actually is an indication of the temperature. It just looks that way. I assume this place is pretty well air conditioned. Holy crap. It's really down. Wow, that's hard. Three ability points, though, so that was pretty good. Pretty good. Is there anything else we wanted to do here in the containment sector before we leave? There might be more altered items here, but we don't know where they are, right? If we look on the map. Oh, we do know. <gasps> oh, the traffic light is in the Panopticon. Why didn't I see it earlier? Actually, there's two more things in here. Sealed Threshold Hall... Oh... Okay, okay. Well, why don't we stay here then? Because the anchor is in this area too. So we'll just get all of this in one swoop. I thought we didn't know where the area was, but it's more just that the quest description didn't say it. But once you focus on it, it does tell you. Back to my fast travel point then, unless if there is a place I can just walk to. Panopticon, we were just there, so we'll save that one for later on. If we want to go to the anchor, or even just the sealed threshold hall, which is pretty close to where the anchor is, right? I'll fast travel. The three ability points, I will put it into levitate. And... Yeah, uh, maybe... Melee. Finally. By the way, how have we been doing on the whole board countermeasures? I know they're not really that important, but it would be nice if we could do some of them. Some of these are so dang specific, though. I feel like we should abandon this one. Especially when the prizes are garbage. Like, there's no reason for us to be getting a level 2 mod, because we're not going to use it, ever. Or even a level 3 one, really. Research Incursion, Containment Incursion, Ability Tactics. Show them... Oh, kill enemies in the containment sector using abilities. This one should be easy, and it's also level 1, so no point in doing it. <laughs> yeah, we can accept some of them, but like these... It's really not anything to 
care about, really. This one we can do. Charge. That's something that we haven't really been focusing on. Can we upgrade our weapon form? Not charge, but we can do grip and pierce. Let's do pierce. We're okay on the special materials, we just need source. Pierce. There's a lot of variation of things that we can do here. Pierce, right now I have a headshot damage thing on it. Damage while aiming might be a good one. Zoom. Damage while aiming, 48%. We never use this gun when we're not aiming. So the damage should be pretty permanent. Oh, I was gonna fast travel, that's right. <laughs> that's cool. I didn't know that happened. My screen got all foggy because I knocked down the, the water thing. Okay. Sealed threshold hall. I want to go... this way. Back into the clocks area, basically. Do we know which one this is? This one should be the Japanese paper lantern. If I can find my way back. <laughs> it's not this way. Oh, it's here. The hand chair just now wasn't too destructive. But the Japanese paper lantern could be a different story. Not the Japanese paper lanterns. Oh. You scary. That's an altered item. It's just kind of oozing resonance. Wasn't so bad. Yeah. This item should be kept in a locked containment cell. Any prolonged observation of the item should be avoided. <laughs> I was looking at it on purpose just now. The item is a paper lantern known as a chojin. The paper is red with elegant black Japanese characters that translate to ramen. Item has an attractive effect that is both physical and psychological. Nearby objects gravitate towards the item with a minor force of... Mm. More notable is its ability to attract sentient organisms with its rich red color and warm comforting glow. It was warm and comforting, I'll give it that. Maybe that's why I was so attracted to looking at it too. Scary. That thing is getting me too, even subconsciously. 